Have you ever been betrayed, left grappling with the internal struggle of whether to extend a second chance to those who have wronged you? The decision to forgive and forget or to sever ties and move forward is a universal dilemma resonating with countless individuals facing the complexities of human relationships. What if, amidst this quandary, there exists a third option, an approach neither naive nor bitter, but rooted in rationality and virtue? Welcome to the realm of Stoicism an ancient philosophy offering a practical guide for living wisely. Stoicism isn't a religion. It's a blueprint for a life marked by wisdom, courage, self-control, and justice. At its core, Stoicism teaches us to focus on what we can control, accept what lies beyond our influence, and find inner peace and happiness regardless of external circumstances. One of life's most intricate challenges is navigating interactions with difficult individuals, especially those who have caused us harm. How should we respond? Should we extend a second chance, hoping for change? Or is it wiser to close that chapter? In this video, we'll delve into nine stoic lessons designed to guide you through the nuanced decision of whether or not to grant people a second chance. Lesson 1. The Mastery of Emotions for Clear Judgment One of the foundational principles in achieving personal growth and making wise decisions lies in mastering the art of not allowing our emotions to cloud our judgment. Emotions are an integral part of the human experience, coloring our lives with joy, sorrow, anger, and fear. However, when faced with situations that challenge us, our immediate emotional responses can lead us astray. When someone wrongs us, it's natural to feel anger, sadness, or a desire for revenge. Yet, the ancient Stoics, Champions of self-control and rationality offer timeless advice. Do not let the force of an impression knock you off your feet. Instead, pause, see who or what is before you, and put it to the test. This powerful teaching encourages us to reflect before reacting, a critical step in understanding our emotional landscape. To apply this lesson, we must first acknowledge our emotions without judgment, recognizing and accepting what we feel as a crucial step in understanding our emotional landscape. Next, we should critically examine these emotions. Are they proportionate to the situation, or are they exaggerated? Do they serve a constructive purpose, or are they potentially harmful? This process of introspection and rational examination enables us to respond more wisely, understanding the root and validity of our emotions. By considering the broader picture and long-term consequences of our actions, we can align our decisions with our values and goals, fostering inner peace and happiness irrespective of external circumstances. Moreover, Developing strategies to manage intense emotions is essential. Techniques like deep breathing, meditation, or physical activity can help dissipate the intensity of our feelings. Seeking the perspective of a trusted friend or advisor provides an objective viewpoint beyond our immediate emotional response. Empathy toward the emotions of others involved in the situation is vital, as conflicts often arise from a lack of perspective taking. In conclusion, mastering our emotions is a skill requiring ongoing practice and self-awareness. By learning to pause, examine, and manage our emotions, we empower ourselves to make decisions that are thoughtful, balanced, and aligned with our deepest values and goals. This mastery doesn't entail suppression, Instead, it involves understanding and integrating emotions into a rational approach to life, enhancing not only our decision-making, but also our relationships. Lesson 2. 
Don't confuse forgiveness with reconciliation. The second Stoic lesson explores the crucial distinction between forgiveness and reconciliation. Forgiveness is an internal, personal process where we release negative emotions like resentment, anger, or a desire for revenge towards someone who has wronged us. It's about finding peace within ourselves, not necessarily for the benefit of the wrongdoer. The Stoics, advocates of inner tranquility, saw forgiveness as a means to maintain one's composure. Seneca wisely advised that the greatest remedy for anger is delay, emphasizing the importance of taking time to process emotions before responding. However, forgiveness doesn't automatically imply reconciliation. Reconciliation is a complex external process requiring effort and commitment from both parties. It involves rebuilding trust, restoring a harmonious relationship, and often necessitates a genuine apology and a commitment to change from the offending party. When considering reconciliation, it's essential to evaluate the nature of the offense and the dynamics of the relationship. Was the harm a one-time incident or part of a pattern of behavior? Has the person shown remorse and taken responsibility for their actions? Setting healthy boundaries and standards for reconciliation is crucial. It doesn't mean returning to the status quo or pretending the harm never occurred. Establishing new limits ensures mutual respect and safety. Personal reflection and seeking counsel from trusted individuals guide this decision-making process. It's vital to listen to our instincts. If the thought of reconciliation brings more anxiety than peace, it may not be the right path. The Stoic lesson here is clear. Forgiveness is a gift to ourselves, freeing us from the burdens of bitterness. While reconciliation is a separate process that demands careful consideration, by embracing forgiveness, we unshackle ourselves from resentment's chains, fostering inner peace. Simultaneously, judiciously approaching reconciliation ensures our emotional well-being and maintains healthy, respectful relationships. Lesson 3 don't compromise your values or standards. The third Stoic lesson advocates for a principled life, an unwavering commitment to not compromise our values or standards. Stoics, valuing harmony with one's true nature, emphasize virtues such as wisdom, courage, self-control, and justice. In navigating relationships, especially with those who have wronged us, there's often a temptation to lower our standards, rationalize harmful behavior, or betray our principles to avoid conflict. Marcus Aurelius cautioned against esteeming anything as advantageous if it compromises our word or self-respect. Maintaining our values isn't just about lofty ideals. It forms the foundation of a character that brings happiness and fulfillment. Stoicism warns against seemingly minor compromises, as they can have profound implications on our integrity and self-esteem. This lesson is especially challenging when faced with difficult people or circumstances. It requires a deep understanding of what we stand for and a steadfast commitment to uphold these principles. Upholding values involves a thoughtful balance between standing firm on principles and being open to understanding and compassion. It means knowing when to compromise on preferences and when to hold firm on values. This discernment is crucial in navigating complex social interactions and maintaining healthy relationships. Maintaining standards requires courage and resilience, often involving going against the tide, facing criticism, or feeling isolated. Inner strength 
and self-respect gained from living authentically and true to one's values outweigh temporary discomfort. Regular reflection and self-awareness help stay aligned with principles. Seeking feedback from those who share similar values provides valuable insights and accountability. Cultivating a supportive environment reinforces values surrounding oneself with like-minded individuals who respect and uphold similar standards. In conclusion, not compromising values or standards is fundamental to living a life of integrity and fulfillment. It involves a conscious effort to understand, articulate, and live by core principles. By doing so, we preserve self-respect, contribute positively to the world, and navigate life's complexities with true success and happiness. Lesson 4. Don't expect people to change. The fourth Stoic lesson imparts the wisdom of not expecting people to change. Stoicism, rooted in rationality and acceptance of reality, emphasizes seeing people and situations as they are, not through the lens of our hopes, desires, or expectations. People typically act in accordance with established patterns and characteristics. Expecting change often leads to disillusionment. The Stoics recognized attempting to change others is futile. Everyone possesses free will and the right to make their own choices. Fostering respect and understanding in relationships requires acknowledging the limited control we have over others and the outcomes of our interactions. Recognizing that people change at their own pace and on their terms is crucial. Differentiating between change within a person's capacity and fundamental aspects of their character or values. When contemplating a second chance, it's vital to do so without the expectation of the person changing. Decisions should be grounded in the acceptance of the person as they are, recognizing that any change is a bonus, not a given. Distinguishing between change in behavior and core personality traits aids in setting realistic expectations. Understanding that self-motivated change is more likely to be genuine and lasting guides decision-making. In dealing with others, focusing on what we can control, our reactions, choices, and boundaries, is beneficial. Setting clear boundaries and communicating expectations transparently creates healthier dynamics. Being prepared to reassess relationships based on reality demonstrates emotional maturity and wisdom. If the relationship consistently undermines well, being, or violates values, it may necessitate reducing contact or ending it. In conclusion, not expecting people to change is a lesson in accepting reality, respecting individual autonomy, and focusing on our sphere of control. It encourages approaching relationships with clarity, understanding, and realistic expectations, fostering healthier interactions and greater peace of mind. By embracing people as they are, we open ourselves to more genuine connections and avoid the pitfalls of unnecessary disappointment and frustration. Lesson 5. Don't be afraid to say no. The fifth stoic lesson integral to leading a life of personal integrity and balance revolves around not being afraid to say no. Stoics, champions of autonomy and independence, valued simplicity, they believed in being content with what one has rather than yearning for what is lacking. When faced with the decision of whether to give someone a second chance, many may find it challenging to say no. The fear of losing the person, the relationship, loneliness, rejection, missing out, or appearing unkind can be powerful influencing decision-making away from what is genuinely best. Epictetus asserted, 
It is not the things themselves that disturb people, but the judgments that they form about them. This perspective urges examining underlying beliefs and judgments to make decisions based on true values and reasoning rather than transient emotions or external opinions. Asserting boundaries and preferences is crucial for maintaining autonomy and self-respect. Saying no when aligned with values and judgment is an exercise in self-care, honesty, and integrity. It involves recognizing and honoring needs, limitations, and aspirations, prioritizing well-being and peace of mind over potential disapproval or disappointment. Saying no is an act of kindness, preventing half-hearted or resentful engagement in relationships or situations. It allows investing time and energy where it truly matters, aligning with life's purpose. Clarity and honesty in saying no provide understanding to others, enabling informed choices. Understanding the difference between assertiveness and selfishness is key. Being assertive means expressing needs and opinions respectfully and confidently, finding balance between personal interests and consideration for others. Developing emotional resilience is crucial in saying no confidently. Anticipating and managing potential guilt or discomfort enhances the ability to stand firm in decisions. It's essential to recognize the difference between the discomfort of setting boundaries and the discomfort of violating personal values. In conclusion, not being afraid to say no is an essential aspect of maintaining autonomy, fostering genuine connections, and aligning decisions with values. It is a demonstration of self-respect, clarity, and honesty, contributing to a life of purpose and fulfillment. Lesson 6. Consider intentions and motivations. The sixth Stoic lesson advises a careful consideration of intentions and motivations when deciding whether to grant someone a second chance. Stoicism places immense importance on understanding one's own motivations and the intentions of others. Seneca, in his letters, frequently emphasized the need for self-examination, urging individuals to scrutinize their desires and actions. When faced with the decision to extend a second chance, evaluating the motivations behind the person's actions is paramount. People may err due to various reasons such as ignorance, external pressures, or personal struggles. Distinguishing between genuine remorse and a desire to escape consequences is essential. Genuine change arises from an internal acknowledgement of wrongdoing and a commitment to rectify it. Reflecting on our motivations is equally crucial. Are we considering a second chance out of a genuine belief in the potential for positive change, or are we driven by external pressures, societal expectations, or fear of loneliness? Stoicism encourages aligning decisions with personal values, ensuring they are rooted in virtue rather than fleeting emotions or societal norms. Additionally, Considering the broader context of the person's life can provide valuable insights. Temporary lapses in judgment or behavior may occur due to external stressors, personal challenges, or unforeseen circumstances. A nuanced understanding of the person's overall character, history, and challenges aids in making an informed decision. To integrate this stoic lesson, Engage in a thorough examination of intentions and motivations, both yours and the other person's. Dialogue and open communication foster understanding. Asking questions and seeking clarity on the motivations behind actions can reveal whether the individual is committed to change or merely seeking a reprieve from consequences. In conclusion, 
Considering intentions and motivations is a fundamental stoic principle in decision making. By delving into the reasons behind actions, both our own and those of others, we navigate relationships with wisdom and discernment, fostering an environment conducive to growth, understanding, and genuine connection. Lesson 7. Practice Empathy and Understanding The seventh Stoic lesson advocates for the practice of empathy and understanding when grappling with the decision of whether to grant a second chance. Stoicism often associated with resilience and self-discipline, also places significant emphasis on compassion and understanding. Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, wrote, wrote, People injure you. Ask yourself what good or harm they thought would come of it. If you understand that, you'll feel sympathy rather than outrage or anger. Empathy involves stepping into the shoes of another, attempting to comprehend their perspective, emotions, and motivations. It doesn't necessarily condone or excuse harmful behavior. Instead, it seeks to understand the context and underlying factors contributing to a person's actions. Practicing empathy aligns with Stoic virtues promoting kindness and cooperation rather than succumbing to anger or resentment, understanding that individuals are products of their experiences, perspectives, and personal struggles fosters compassion. This perspective doesn't imply tolerance of harmful actions, but encourages a balanced, informed decision-making process. By acknowledging the complexities of human nature, we open the door to forgiveness and growth. To embody this stoic lesson, engage in active listening and open communication. Seek to understand the person's experiences, challenges, and motivations. Avoid making assumptions or imposing judgments without a thorough understanding of their perspective. This practice encourages a nuanced approach to decision-making, moving beyond a binary view of right or wrong. Empathy doesn't diminish the importance of accountability. Acknowledging the consequences of actions and the need for responsible behavior is crucial. Striking a balance between understanding and accountability allows for a more comprehensive and fair evaluation. In conclusion, Practicing empathy and understanding is a stoic principle that enriches decision-making by considering the multifaceted nature of human behavior. By embracing compassion and seeking to comprehend the complexities of others, we contribute to a more compassionate, interconnected world. Lesson 8. Learn from past experiences. The Eighth Stoic Lesson imparts the wisdom of learning from past experiences when contemplating the decision to grant someone a second chance. Stoicism places great value on the lessons that life offers, encouraging individuals to reflect on their experiences and extract wisdom from both successes and failures. When faced with the prospect of extending a second chance, reflecting on past interactions with the individual is invaluable. Consider previous patterns of behavior, the impact of their actions on your well-being, and the effectiveness of any previous attempts at reconciliation. Stoicism emphasizes the importance of practical wisdom, applying lessons from the past to inform present decisions. Evaluate the outcomes of previous decisions and actions, discerning what worked well and what didn't. This reflective process isn't about dwelling on past mistakes, but rather about gaining insights that contribute to wiser decision-making in the present. Seneca aptly stated, He who does not prevent a crime when he can, encourages it. Recognizing patterns of behavior allows for a more informed and proactive approach. 
If past experiences indicate a genuine commitment to change and positive growth, it may influence the decision to grant a second chance. Conversely, if there is a history of repeated harmful behavior without sincere efforts to change, a more cautious approach may be warranted. Incorporating this stoic lesson involves cultivating self-awareness and a willingness to objectively assess past experiences. Regular reflection, journaling, or seeking the counsel of trusted advisors can aid in this process. The goal is not to hold on to resentment, but to distill practical wisdom from lived experiences. In conclusion, learning from past experiences is a stoic principle that guides decision-making with practical wisdom. By acknowledging the lessons of the past, individuals navigate present choices more effectively, fostering personal growth and resilience. Lesson 9. Trust your judgment. The final stoic lesson underscores the importance of trusting your judgment when deciding whether to grant someone a second chance. Stoicism champions the rational mind as a guide to virtuous living. Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher, highlighted the significance of understanding what is within our control and using reason to make sound decisions. Trusting your judgment involves a confident reliance on your ability to assess situations, understand motivations, and make decisions aligned with your values. While seeking advice and perspectives from others is valuable, ultimately, the responsibility for the decision lies with the individual facing the dilemma. Stoicism discourages succumbing to external pressures, societal expectations, or the fear of judgment when making decisions. Instead, it advocates for an internal locus of control, emphasizing that individuals have the power to choose their responses and actions. This self empowerment aligns with the Stoic virtue of self-discipline. To apply this Stoic lesson, cultivate self-trust through self-awareness, introspection, and ongoing learning. Understand your values, priorities, and the principles that guide your decisions. Acknowledge that not every choice will have a universally agreed upon answer and uncertainties are inherent in life. Trusting your judgment doesn't mean infallibility. It acknowledges that decisions are made with the best information available at the time. Embrace the learning that comes with every decision, whether it leads to success or serves as a valuable lesson for improvement. In conclusion, trusting your judgment is a fundamental stoic principle that empowers empowers individuals to navigate life's complexities with confidence and integrity. By relying on reason and self-awareness, individuals make decisions aligned with their values, fostering personal growth and a life of virtue. Applying Stoic Wisdom in Granting Second Chances Deciding whether to grant someone a second chance is a multifaceted process influenced by personal values, circumstances, and the complexities of human relationships. Stoic philosophy offers a rich tapestry of principles to guide this decision-making, emphasizing virtues such as forgiveness, principled living, realistic expectations, assertiveness, understanding, learning from experiences, and trusting one's judgment. By embracing these stoic lessons, individuals can approach the decision with wisdom, resilience, and compassion. It encourages a balanced perspective that navigates the delicate balance between self-preservation and fostering positive connections. In the end, the decision to grant a second chance becomes not just an external event, but a reflection of one's commitment to virtuous living and the pursuit of a life well-lived.